Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Up until now, we were discussing about how to load a data, transform a data. But now let's start discussing about how to visualize the data. Okay. Now there are many different visualization options that are available within Power BI which you see here, right? There are a lot, lot of charts that are available within Power BI charts and graphs, which you can apply to visualize your particular data set, right? And I'm not gonna cover each and every visual, at least the basic ones, because I feel that when we get into a report building or a dashboard building mode, we will anyways be using all of them. So I don't want to cover them right now. And anyways, there are a lot of videos on YouTube which covers those basic charts. So I don't want to create another redundant video. So what we will be doing today is we'll be covering one category of visualization which Power BI introduced, which is pretty interesting given the recent advancements that we have been doing in AI technologies. The category of visual that I'm talking about is AI visualization. And understanding this will be pretty interesting. So when you look at the visualization pane placed at the right hand side of your window, within this you have a lot of charts and formatting options. We also have these options in the insert tab of this toolbar here. Now, as of now, we have four different kind of AI visuals available in Power BI, right? And each one of them deserves a separate video of its own. So we're gonna do just that. So today, what we're gonna cover is a visualization called as smart narrative. Now, what is smart narrative? What it does is it creates a helpful insight commentary for your visualizations. So I'll explain what I mean. So I have a chart here, which have the title of a particular movie and the ratings that it received on the Y axis. Now I want some kind of commentary or insight in this particular data set so that anyone looking at this visualization can understand what's happening and what are the key takeaways, okay? So for that to happen, either I can create a text box here and manually enter my observations, or what I can do is just right click on this visualization and click on summarize. Or alternatively, if you have more than one visual on your page, then just click anywhere on the page so that it deselects the existing chart and then click on this smart narrative, okay? Now what this does is, it creates a AI generated narrative of your data set with some key takeaway points. Sum of inline block was highest for hero at 19.40 followed by the takeover and metamorphosis. Hero accounted for 0.05% of sum of inline block across all 6,235 titles. Sum of inline block ranged from 1 to 19.40. So this is giving me a high level narrative of my data set so that a user can understand what the data is all about. Now you might have noticed that this line or this word sum of inline block does not make that sense. So what we can do is just delete this commentary. And while you have created this chart, just edit the name and let's call it rating. Now, if I right click and summarize or click on the smart narrative, what this will do is it will accommodate that new name into the commentary or the narrative. This does not end here. What we can do is we can add our own custom insights into this tab so that we can create dynamic values. Let me explain how. So let's say I want to add a new text here uh, to find the total number of reviews that we have received for all the titles. So I'm going to say total reviews received for all titles are and then here we're going to enter a dynamic value which will change every time the data changes. Okay, so I'm going to click on this value section. So the moment I'm in the edit mode of this smart narrative, I get a couple of options to change the formatting from here, right? There are a couple of options to uh, make it bold or change the font and change the font size, etc. But I also get an option to add a value. So I'm going to click on this value section here. This will give me a prompt to create a dynamic value that updates with your data. So I'm going to write sum of reviews. Okay, this will automatically pick up the 
total sum of reviews from that data set and give me the result here, right? And what I can do is I can even format it in a form of currency, decimal values, whole numbers. But for this case, I'm gonna just use comma separated values and press OK. And this will give me the dynamic value of total sum of reviews that I've received for all titles. I can even go ahead and customize this by double clicking on this. And instead of all reviews, I can say for a particular title, let's say hero, and I'm gonna save this and it's gonna give me this. I can change this title because now it, it represents only hero for title hero, okay? Is this one. I can also go ahead and format this if I want. Change the text color to let's say a sky blue color, make it bold. And also I have an option to link this text to an external web page. So I can do that by clicking on this link icon here. So that is it for smart narrative. Let me know in the comment section, what else do you think can be achieved using smart narrative and how else you are planning to use this feature. We're gonna continue this AI visualization journey for a couple of more videos because I want to cover all the visuals that are available within AI visuals. So stay tuned for that. And if you're liking my content, then please do remember to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much.